Hello everybody, Ray Garner with Garner's Games here, doing my weekly comic review. This week I'm going a little bit different. I'm going to be doing back-to-back -back issues since this was a prequel. This is Batman The Long Halloween, The Last Halloween. That's the prelude number zero. And there's number one. Now both of these are written by Jeff Loeb. Tim Sales does the art of the first one and then in the of the, of the issue zero, I should say. Issue one, it's Eduardo uh, Russo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and having never really been super knowledgeable of the original miniseries, uh, The Long Halloween, um, this is kind of a dry run for me. Um, it's kind of referencing... The, uh, I'm guessing the events of the first one where we have the Halloween killer. They use the 22 um, pistol. Now we have the uh, main villain of the pre the uh, prequel is going to be Calendar Man. Who now has these goons, which is kind of interesting. They all have shaved heads and they have their month that they represent. Counterman is kind of obsessive about the whole date, though, so I'm sure everybody's date is their birth month. So, that's pretty interesting. And they're going after Harvey Dent, because they want Harvey Dent to join them. Um, Gilda Dent has returned to Harvey, um, despite... You know, his disfigurement, because this is set really not very long after Harvey Dent becomes Two-Face. And he has Solomon Grundy as a, kind of a backup on this. And she's come back, and she's basically going to stand by his side. Now, eventually, Counter Man has his boys show up and capture her. The uh, probably funniest part about this is Commissioner Gordon wants Robin to go trick-or-treating with his daughter Barbara, who's dressed up as Batgirl. Uh, very much implying that Commissioner Gordon is completely aware that Bruce Wayne is Batman. And that Dick, Dick Grayson is Robin. He doesn't seem to get that his daughter is Batgirl. Um, Harvey comes to Two Face, or Two Face comes to Batman to get him to help get his wife back. Uh, when the bat symbol shows up in the sky and it's half broken out, Robin ditches uh, Barbara to go help Batman. And the whole plan, as we find out throughout the deal, is that uh, Batman has disguised himself as Two-Face to be the guy joining uh, Counter Man. While Two-Face and Solomon Grundy go and save Gilda. And Solomon Grundy basically grabs the explosives that are designed to kill everybody and, you know, basically dives on top of them so he can keep uh, Harvey safe. Batman beats down uh, Counter Man, and then I do mean beat him down. And Two-Face and Gilda disappear into the night, and we end with uh, Jim and Bruce on the rooftop having a conversation about whether or not Harvey is the friend that they used to know, um, just changed by the accident, or is he always been Two-Face and the accident just brought it all to the surface. And then we get to issue one. Uh, only way about issue one it is razor thin. Yeah. Issue zero, issue one. 
very thin on pages. Uh, so that is a little little bit of a complaint I have when, you know, $5 a book. You know, it, that's kind of been a problem with comics for a while. We start off two faces back in town. Really cool splash page of him and Gilda in the uh, hideout that they have. Uh, we're still trick or treating because it's, or not, I think this is supposed to be like a year later. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be a year later. Uh, anyway, boy James Gordon gets kidnapped. Um, Selena's talking to someone, and I think it's the Falcone family, is what we're implying here. But definitely not going into heavy detail. Have a really great scene where young Dick Grayson tries to take down Selena. Doesn't work out for him. A Batman goes to try to save him. But Dick actually didn't need saving. He managed to get free of the deal and land on his feet. Despite having jumped so far. Getting mad at Bruce when he says, you know, that was reckless. What are you doing? You're letting her get away. I'm not a liability. I'm your partner. So I liked him standing up for himself already. At a pretty young age. You know, Batman complaining about the whole, you know, having to adjust to having a partner now. Uh, they find what looks like to be a possible murder scene off the side with a 22 and a busted um, Halloween um, jack o' lantern. Uh, Uh, Detective Lopez is interviewing Jim's wife, Mrs. Gordon. And she gets very upset with the, the round of questioning, which, you know, it's not uncommon. You know. And then, you know, Jim basically gets Batman there, and he's, you know, they took my son. And he just basically wants him to go find his son. Grundy is standing guard, gets attacked, pulled into the uh, sewer. Harvey gets shot in the belly by guys in clown mask. And, you know, they're obviously working with the Joker. And apparently... Based on this, is the one guy in the clown face starts to take off his mask. We can assume it's a joker. It may not be. And says, we're going to talk about holiday, uh, Gilded Dent, or this will be your last Halloween. And then we end with her staring up. You know, with Harvey shot and blood running out on him. Then we got some, uh, you know, we got Tim Sales art, kind of a tribute, you know, a little bit of, you know, a little black and white scene here of the Robin jumping after Catwoman. It's an interesting start, um, not a lot of information yet, just kind of a very quick pace, you know, boom, 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 you know, Joker apparently is going after Two-Face. Someone's gone after James Gordon, and, you know, Batman is dealing with Robin being a really active partner. Uh, obviously, several mysteries going on, you know, who took James, you know, what's the Joker's angle, and how's Dent going to handle this? So, cool start. Really appreciate um, both books. You know, it's going to be a 10-issue miniseries. Uh, I think people will really like it. Um, and I love it when Batman is being more of a detective and having to stop being so dark and broody because, you know, he realizes there's more to life than just beating up thugs. And that's part of what Robin was brought in for was to teach him that, you know, you can't be a hero and just be a vigilante. So... I'm looking forward to how this continues. Uh, this is a really good start for the series. Um, you do need to get both of these so you kind of know what's going on. And, you know, 
Same bat time, same bat channel next week. Enjoy.